The Southern California climate embodies all of the ingredients for disastrous wildfires. Six to eight months of little to no rainfall, hot summers with temperatures often over 100 degrees, then in autumn, when everything is at its driest, come the Santa Ana winds, surging in from the deserts to the east, blowing hot, dry air, gusting 60 to 90 miles an hour. When a fire starts under these conditions, almost nothing can stop it. It does look like it's, uh, it's coming pretty hard. Wildlife impacts are also being studied as part of the Southern California Wildfire Risk Scenario Project. The scientists are examining the aftermath of several 2003 and 2007 fires in San Diego that destroyed over 300,000 acres. They're surveying the wildlife and vegetation communities before and after the fires. So we had been studying this site since 1995, and so we had a, a real good sample of what animals, and, and I, when I say animals, I'm talking about reptiles, amphibians, small mammals, and also vegetation. And so we had a good idea of what was here before the fires. And then when it burned in 2003, we came back to those same exact sites using that same technique. Since the fires, shrub cover has decreased. We went from about 80% cover to about 40% cover. So that's about a 50% decrease in shrub cover. And all the leaf litter that was on the ground, that all burned off. And so now there's a lot more direct sunlight hitting the ground, drying the ground out, and creating a very unsuitable habitat for slender salamanders. And so since the fires uh, over, over the last seven years, we've only seen like four salamanders total. Whereas we used to see four salamanders every month when we would come out here. Results like these have been demonstrated for a number of species. They suggest that with increased fires, many wildlife species will be unable to cope with the rapid change to their habitat. One of the desired outcomes for this project for us at USGS is, is that these natural environments, that this chaparral, that this coastal sage scrub, that these environments that are characteristic of Southern California will still be around 100 years in the future. We want to make sure that these plant communities are around. We also want to make sure that the wildlife that lives inside these vegetation communities are still around, because this is part of our heritage for Southern California. Coming up, learn about the new model the scientists are creating to help reduce fire risk. 